What's going on everyone? Jeff Bowders here with Drum Discipline Academy and today we have the four essential hi-hat stickings for all of your triplet based grooves. These are really easy, they're, they're pretty basic, but they're, they're extremely effective when you're having to navigate any sort of syncopated accent pattern on your hi-hat while maintaining a, a strong feel. And it's just, it's just always nice to have a handful of comfortable stickings that you can always rely on when you find yourself in a, in a position like this. So, as with all lessons from Drum Discipline Academy, we always have a nice clean PDF for you to download so you can follow along and know exactly what we're talking about so you can get the most out of this lesson. So make sure to download that below. That being said, let's get after it and check out these four stickings. All right, here we go. First sticking, this is sticking A. All this is is just right, left, left, right, left, left. All the right strokes, we're gonna be accenting. We're gonna play those nice and strong. The left strokes, we're gonna play those unaccented. We want those nice and soft. And as you play through all four of these stickings, I really wanna encourage you to apply this, this dynamic contrast or dynamic separation. Make the, make the accents consistently loud and those unaccented notes consistently soft. This is gonna add some really nice just color and depth into your playing and, and that's what we're looking for here, all right? So, so keep that in mind as you play through all four of these stickings. So this is sticking A, here we go. All right, the B sticking, here we go. We're starting off with two right strokes and then ending with the left stroke. So it's right, right, left. Now the left stroke gets the accent and those first two right strokes are gonna be the unaccented notes. Here we go. All right, now the C sticking. This is, this is a six note phrase. This is also a super popular rudiment known as the six stroke roll. All it is is right, left, left, right, right, left. The accents fall on the first note and the last note. So that right and that left, there it is. Those two middle diddles, the left, left, and the right, right, unaccented, sounds like this. Now finally, the D sticking, this is another six note phrase. This is also sometimes referred to as an inverted six stroke roll, meaning it starts off with two rights, and then we have the single left and the single right, and then it finishes off with the two lefts. Once again, those single strokes, the left and the right in the middle, those are the accented notes. The diddles remain unaccented. This is it, let's check it out. All right, cool, here we go. Now it's time to apply these stickings to our hi-hat. We're gonna use a halftime triplet groove to work on this. All that means is bass drum's gonna be on beat one, and then for beat three, we're gonna bring our right hand down to play a nice, strong snare drum. Now, super important thing that we wanna focus on when we're applying these accent patterns to the hi-hat is how we're actually articulating them. All that means is we want a distinctive sound between an accented note and an unaccented note. And the best way to achieve that is for the accented notes, I want you to use the shoulder of your stick to play on the edge of the hat. For the unaccented notes, I want you to use the tip of your stick and play on the top of the hat. This way we have two different tonalities. It's gonna have a really cool dynamic contrast there. And overall just, just sound a lot cleaner and crisper. And we're all looking for that, right? So this first example, we're gonna use sticking A, which is just right, left, left, right, left, left. Once again, coming down for beat three on the snare drum to create that nice, cool, heavy, halftime triplet groove. Here we go. Two, three, four. 
All right, groove two. This is gonna be a combination sticking. For beats one and two, we're gonna use the B sticking. And for beats three and four, we're gonna use the A sticking. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right, groove three, here we go. This is everyone's favorite. This is the six stroke roll. Remember it was the C sticking. We're just gonna play that twice. On beat three, we're coming down for that nice strong snare drum to create that heavy halftime feel. Make sure we have a nice distinction, nice dynamic contrast with the accented and unaccented notes. You got this, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right, here we go. The final groove application is gonna be a combination of the D sticking and the C sticking. For beats one and two, we're gonna play the D sticking. For beats three and four, we're gonna play the C sticking. So it's a combination of the inverted and standard six stroke rolls. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it. Let's make it happen. One, two, three. All right, so the next step is developing some bass drum coordination that we can apply to all these hi-hat variations. And there's a thousand ways to do this, but one of my favorite ways is taking a groove or a feel that we're already semi-familiar with and use that as a starting place for it. And that way, you know, we're, we're working on something that, that we already dig. So if we're playing halftime triplet grooves here, what's the first song that probably comes to all of our minds is... Well, yeah, the, the old classic Toto track, Rosanna, by the late, great drum legend, Jeff Picaro. That groove is really cool. It's a two-bar phrase, and so it has a really cool bass drum syncopation to it that we can use to all these hi-hat variations. That bass drum pattern is this. One. Now let's just add the snare drum to it so we can really hear how this halftime groove works with that bass drum feel. Now we're gonna apply that two bar bass drum pattern to all of those groove applications that we just did, all four of them. Here we go, let's make it happen.
Alright troops, I, I hope you can see how taking these pretty basic stickings can really give you the freedom to accent any sort of syncopation you want within a within a triplet time feel. And these stickings obviously aren't relegated to just the hi-hat. We can use these stickings to, to create any sort of cool fill ideas and I don't know, maybe I should do a video of, of applying these stickings in more of a fill context. If you want me to do that, leave a comment, send me an email, let me know, I'd love to do that. Until then, have fun with this, stay focused, practice with purpose, and I'll see you next time.